In Kumi Startup Tutorial Tutorial Video Number 1 EC Cube Hardware Connection Interior View of the EC Cube Number 1 is 5 Port Ethernet Switch Number 2 in Kumi Controller Number 3 Power Supply Number 4 Circuit Breaker Number 5 Terminals for Mounting Communication Cables Number 6 Terminals for Mounting Power Cables An Optional EC Panel During your EC Cube Startup Commissioning you have to go through the following mandatory procedures Which are EC Cube has to be connected constant power supply EC Cube and your PC has to be physically connected via Ethernet cable. However this is not always the case. In case if you are connected via EC Link your EC Cube has to be connected to the Internet. You may have to connect the EC Cube terminal to the grid genset and PV plant or inverters and to weather sensors. Once you have prepared with necessary accessories and cables let's get start the hardware connection procedures. Connect your computer with Ethernet switch by a Ethernet cable. If you are making TCP communication between NCOM B controller and PV inverters you have to connect the EC cube switch terminal and your inverter terminal via Ethernet cables. Here the connection depends on your site installation. The supported smart loggers or inverter managers from our supported list will be connected to the EC cube. Your EC cube need to securely connected to the constant power supply. It uses 24 voltage DC. The EC cube itself inbuilt with 24 voltage power converter. So don't be afraid to connect the power adapter of the EC cube to your standard 220 power supply point. Here terminal 1 is plus and the terminal 2 is negative. EC cube has built with connection terminals which is named terminal 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. Terminal 1 and 2 connected to the comport 2 of EC PV controller. The terminal 1 connected to a minus that corresponds to RS485 plus. And the terminal 2 connected to B plus that is corresponds to RS485 minus respectively. Comport 2 is reserved for interfacing to power meters. And meteorological sensors. The RS485 plus from the power meter should be connected to terminal 1 of the EC cube. And RS 485 minus should be connected to the terminal 2 of the EC cube. The power meters has to be connected in a daisy chain serial manner. If you are using more than one power meter make sure you have connected the power meters in a daisy chain manner. It is important that the ID numbers has to be given in a sequence order corresponds to the connected power meters. How to set the ID of the power meter. Press the menu key. Then use the sibling menu switch to reach the address menu. Here now you will see the default ID on the power meter. Again press the menu key. Then you will reach the password menu where you have to enter the default password 01. Use the arrow key to move the editing number to the left or to the right on the display. And then use the arrow key to change the number. Once you have changed the ID press the menu key again to save it. Now you have changed the ID of the power meter. For instance if you use 4 power meters. Use ID 1 to ID 4 to name the power meters and connect them in their ID sequence. How to connect the power supply line of the power meters? On the power meter L plus which is the marked pin number 1 will be connected to the supply line which is the load AC buzz bar. And the N minus which is pin number 3 will be connected to the neutral. The power supply to the power meters must come from the load AC buzz bar. By this way they are always powered up. 
it is important they are always powered up even the connected PV plant or generator or the grid are out of power. Comport 3 is reserved for interfacing to inverters and or meteorological sensors. In case none of this is enabled, Comport 3 is acting as a slave port. The Comport 3 connected to Terminal 4 and 5 on the EC cube. Here the Terminal 4 is a minus which is correspondence to Rs 485 plus. And the Terminal 5 is B plus which is correspondence to Rs 485 minus. Modbus Rs 485 plus should be connected to Terminal 4 and Modbus Rs 485 minus should be connected to the Terminal 5 respectively. The cables being used between the EC cube and the power meters or sensors has to be twisted together properly and the cable must be shielded as shown in this picture. If your installation not met our recommended standards data loss can happen. Do not mess the installation cables, which will cause magnetic field disturbance on data cables. Use wire protectors and strips if needed. Keep a nice and tidy installation in and around the controller. Once you are completed above procedures, your NCOM B controller terminal 1 connected to power meter on the RS485 plus and the terminal 2 connected to the RS485 minus, and the same way your controller terminal 4 connected to the RS485 plus and terminal 5 connected to the RS485 minus of the light meter pro if you are using a light meter pro installation and your controller will be connected with your smart logger directly by a Ethernet cable. Now you are set to go for the EC web settings from your computer. Thank you for watching the video. This video presented by Nkumi. For more information please visit our website www.mcombi.com.